Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Be good, of course. Brandon Wenzel, come back at you. Another offering of my sampler platter. Yes, indeed, folks. Sampler video series of videos I've been doing for a little while now where I go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat the stuff, I drink stuff, then I talk about the stuff, folks. I like you know all that you need to know about so many potentially delicious things you don't even know, folks. There's, I've done so many today. So many. I'm going to be good for like two weeks worth of videos. We can have. Oh, my insides. They're so not pleased with me right now. Good thing, okay? I got Peter Can Thunderbolt backing me up. And then on top of that, I got Crabby Little Ladder over there. And hey, I got my Wild Arms 2 t shirt I'm still rocking. It's a great game. PlayStation 1. Quite possibly the world's greatest video game. So, some controversial opinion, I know, folks, but that's, that's my opinion. And I'm sticking to it. Oh, I've also got this cool bracelet. Uh, it's done by a friend of mine named Chad McCoy. He's a martial artist, uh, movie god, actor. Sorry, folks, I've, I've done a lot of videos today, so my brain is just starting to melt. Um, but he's a super cool guy. He makes these, I believe, by request still. Uh, if you're interested, let me know. I can try to hit him up about them. Uh, but in the meantime, folks, what am I trying for y'all today? Well... Luckily, I'm not trying to food or drink for this last one, not exactly anyway, uh, because boy oh boy, am I fooded and drinked out for a while. So I'm doing, boom! I'm doing some Bargs, Barks, so long I called it Bargs, and my brain still wants it to be Bargs, but it's Barks, that's a Q, not a G. I know, I know the cursive, I'm old enough where I still know the cursive. Which, by the way, folks, if you happen to be my age or older, you know, around the age where you had to go over there and sit down... Do cursive. Stop ragging on the younger folks for not. <laughs> How often do you use cursive in your fucking daily life? I haven't used cursive with the exception of my uh, my signature. Because, you know, yeah, I, I learned how to do that. Um, I haven't used cursive since I was in fucking grade school. Well, that's not true. I used it in middle school a handful of times and was told by my teachers to print. Then I went to high school, and I went over there, I used it a handful of times, and I was told by my teachers to print. They didn't want to deal with that shit. Nobody wants to, folks. I mean, yeah, some people have really beautiful handwriting, and that's the thing. And then there's folks like me. I couldn't, at this point, although I can read it, I'd be lying if I said I could do all the, all the cursive letters off the top of my head. So, there's like one or two I'm sure I would mix. But anyway, yeah, it's, uh, it's chapstick. But it, it's Barks flavored, and I love root beer, folks, and I'm a big fan of Barks. Barks is far and away one of my favorite root beers, especially when it comes to, like, domestic root beers, uh, ones that are typically easily available to get in stores. I'm always bummed that we don't, like, it's not more of a thing here in America, because it's so good. But, you know, typically you're going to find A&W, which A&W is good, um, but it, it's, for me, it's kind of a specific thing. Barks, for me, is like a really good example of a commercial root beer. To me, it tastes like what root beer should taste like. So I got some chapstick. I found this a while back. Uh, it was a thing. Does it go out of... I mean, I'm not going to eat it, so like it can't really go out of a... Like, expire, can it? Plus, it's just flavored lip moisture. Moisturizer. Um... Yeah, so anyway, uh, yeah, I saw this, like, at a checkout aisle a while back. This has actually been in my cupboard for a little bit. Like, I have a cupboard where I go over there and I have, like, all my reviewable items. This one just lied flat, and I just missed it for a really long time. So I finally found it today, and I was like, oh, yeah, cool, that's right, I'll do that. Now, I'm not going to say that I haven't dreamed about being able to go over there and taste uh, brew beer all day, every day. That's happened. But... I've never thought of it as being a chapstick flavor, most specifically because I don't use chapstick ever. I don't like chapstick. I'm the type of person where I have a tendency to, to go over there and you know, moisturize my own lips with my tongue periodically, and when I have chapstick on, it just it's just weird. It just doesn't feel right. I'm not a fan. It's it's a it's, it's a, like a sensation thing, you know, like just ugh, the way it feels. So I'm taking the hit on this one, folks. I'm hoping that my love of uh, 
Barg's root beer outweighs my disdain for a uh, chapstick. If nothing else, I think it was like 75 cents or some shit. So, all right. Do I unscrew or do I just pop? <laughs> I'll be damned if that doesn't smell like root beer. And it's not entirely just generic root beer smell either. Like, his, you know, most root beers have, you know, somewhat similar scent. Kind of general root beerishness. Um, there is something a little bit more to it. Not a lot. Like, it, it's still, you know, quasi-generic, but, like, there, it does have a little bit more of a thing. And Barks has a little bit more of a thing. Oh, I want to get some root beer. All right. Let's make the thing do a thing. Look, we're making the thing do a thing. Now we're going to go over there. We're going to apply it to our lips. Because I haven't done this shit since, like, middle school. Uh, this isn't going to go well. I'm going to sort of lipstick this stuff, I guess. Which I don't apply lipstick either for multitudes of reasons. Can't think of an instance where, unless it was like part of a costume or something. Oh, plus I got the the mustache in the way. Well, okay. Here's the immediate problem, folks. Though my lips might be nice and glossy. I don't know. You tell me. And I did enjoy the smell of applying it. That just made me want to go over there and taste it. So my, I instinctively put my lips to it. And it just tastes like goddamn uh, chapstick wax. Or what the hell ever it's made out of. Which isn't good. So now I live in this weird sort of purgatory hell where I can smell root beer. Kinda. Minding my nose is a little bit stuffed up right now. But I can still kind of smell it a little bit. But I can't taste it. So it's taunting me. That's what this is for. It is to taunt and fuck with fat guys like me who like Barb's root beer. I don't know why I figured any different. I mean, I suppose I could... I suppose I could... Blah, 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 blah. I don't have a napkin. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. It's like I was saying, folks. It just... Whoa. And mind you, it's not to knock this particular brand of chapstick or what the hell ever. It's like that when I... It just... My, my brain knows that stuff is not supposed to be there. And so when it... You know, when my tongue goes out and it, it just... Whoa. I'm not a fan. Blah. I'm not a fan. Even, even root beer couldn't fix this one for me, folks. I, I will just deal with some occasionally chapped lips. I just can't. I just, ugh, it just feels weird, and I don't like it. Yeah, I tried. I re, you saw me try. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't. I, I don't know why this exists. I don't know why, like quote-unquote flavored chapsticks exist at all because again you don't want to eat the stuff and even if you do put your tongue to it it just tastes like chapstick so like yeah it's kind of cool in concept but then the fundamental problem is it's like well i just want a root beer now i mean i guess that's maybe that's the plan you put it on and then you just want a root beer all day so eventually go out and buy root beer i want a root beer all day anyway barks okay you don't need to go over there and coax me in with some chapstick nonsense. I like your product. True story. Well, like maybe two years ago, I want to say it was, right? Went over there, I had my birthday. Now, for myself, personally, birthdays are always a little bit, like, meh for me. Like, I don't typically give two shits about them at this point. I'm fucking 35, almost 36. I don't really care these days. All I want for my birthday typically is to be left the fuck alone don't call me don't wish me happy birthday on the phone or text me or anything like that you can do it the day afterwards if you want or better yet do it when i see you. uh 
Just I don't want my day interrupted like 30 times. I love being, and I feel, I sound like such an asshole because, like, people are just being nice and going out of their way, you know. It's like, I love you all, but just, I go over there, just chill the fuck out at home. I go over there, I just grab a bunch of kung fu movies, I'll order a really nice pizza, and I'll go over there and I'll drink some root beer. That is, it, 35... And to be fair, it's not what I should be doing. I should, you know, be taking that day to go over there and exercise or do something to, you know, improve my health. But that's what I do, you know. And, like, and to be fair, you know, like, last year my friends were like, no, 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 no. We're getting together and we're doing some shit with you because you're our friend and for some reason we like you. So I don't understand it. But, uh... So I went over there a couple years ago. I did my thing, right? I was having a good old time. And I ordered from this one place. Uh, I've actually done a... Uh, I did a video a while back where I was featuring restaurants a little bit. Uh, it's a place called Nardi's. Uh, go watch that video. Went over there. I got myself delicious, just, you know, stuffed pizza. It's fantastic. I'm having a good old time. And one of the things I wanted was root beer, but I couldn't find any root beer that wasn't A&W in my immediate area. So they they had two liters there. And I was like, all right. So when I made the order, I was like, you know what? Give me a root beer, too. And I got there, so I went to go pick it up. And I was uh, got the pizza, and, you know, they're about to grab the thing. And I go over there, and I notice, like, they, they pick up an A&W. Two liter of AW, I noticed that they have barks behind it. And I was like, could I have one of the barks instead? And they're like, well, it's not cold, you know. I'm like, that's fine. I, I will, I, that's okay. I will remedy that. So I got home. I don't care if I'm yammering. This is the last video I'm doing for the day. I'm going to yammer. Got home, put that son of a bitch in the freezer. And now I know what you're thinking, folks. You're Brandon, you went over, you dumbass, you went over there and it blew up in your freezer. No, it's not at all what happened taking you down a route you're not prepared for. So I went over there, let it cool down in the freezer, get proper cold. I'm over there watching kung fu movies. I'm eating pizza. I'm eating really cold soda or drinking really cold root beer. I'm having a great time. Eventually it all weighs me down, though, and I pass the fuck out, as you do. So I woke up like a few hours later, but it wasn't like a proper wake up. It was like I need to wake up and go use the facility. So I wake up, go use, well, start making my way to go use the facilities. And I see that in my having passed out, the two liter of Barks, which is like two thirds left or so, something like that, it's still nearby. I forgot to put it back in the fridge. It's on a table. So I decide, you know, I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to take it with me to the bathroom because... I am thirsty. Whenever I wake up, folks, I, I'm, I'm thirsty. I, I need something to drink. So, and I, I'm zonked the hell out still. Like, this isn't, I'm like, ah, no, I'm, I'm still 85% asleep at this point. So I go over there, sit down to use the facilities, start drinking some root beer, and some combination of me being very thirsty, being very, very out of it from, you know, having not really woken up and, and I went over there in the course of I don't know how long because I like time meant nothing to me I drank the entire rest of the two liter while sitting on the toilet and uh I then proceeded to finish you know using said facilities and then went back to bed and went to sleep when I woke up the next morning I had to go use the facilities again, as one might assume, given the fact, you know, I drank two-thirds of a fucking two-liter. And I made my way through, turned the corner to go into the bathroom, and saw the empty two-liter sitting there next to the toilet. And my immediate thought was, holy shit, I thought I dreamed that. Was that story worth the story? I don't know. You tell me. I find it humorous, though. And now it's recorded for all prosperity. Where was I going with things? Um, yeah, no, I wouldn't recommend the Bargs chapstick thing. I'm not a fan. If you like chapstick and you like Bargs, maybe it'll be for you. I don't, it just, I don't see the point. 
Uh, but I don't like Chap Suey. You saw my reaction to it. It wasn't a good time. Uh, five things before I get out of here, folks. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Monumental rest of your month. Stupendous rest of your year. If you could go over there and have yourselves a truly... Well, it's on a thing now. Barg's Root Beer rest of your life. Because Barg's Root Beer is fantastic, folks. It's not quite as good as Dad's. Dad's is, you know, that's that's the business right there. But Barg's, it's close. It's close. It's definitely got Mug and uh, A&W beat out by a good mark. And man, oh man, is like... I love that, like, root beer memes are a thing, and there's, like, this whole, like, war between the root beer. I love it. Makes me so happy. Final two things before I get out of here, folks. Number one, try to bring some positivity to the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But we do if you can't do it all the time. I know I can't do it all the time. Folks, here's what you do. You try not to be an asshole. Okay? Maybe don't, uh, maybe don't go over there. It makes a bar of chapstick that goes over there and taunts and, you know, revolts your good pal Brandon with his Wild Arms t-shirt. Maybe just go over there and instead of inventing that stuff, go over there and invent a way that I can go over there and snap my fingers and I instantly have a Barks root beer. I'll pay for it. I would abuse that so badly and go broke. That's what would happen. And I'd, probably, I'd get, like, all the diabetes. Wouldn't it, It'd be fun for a very short period of time until all the ramifications. But until then. Uh, very final thing, folks. Do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go over there and do. Maybe you'll go over there and you'll invent the snapping technology I was talking about. And you'll also perfect it in some way so that, you know, uh, for some reason I won't have to pay for it and it won't go over there and make my blood sugar levels spike. That would be like a hell of a paradise situation for me. But that would most likely require magic or some level of physics that we haven't obtained yet as a species. So let's aim for something more reasonable, right? Right. So what should you do? Um... Go over there and uh, feed some squirrels or something like that, right? Like, squirrels are pretty cool. They don't really cause any harm. They're just, I mean, they're squirrels. They like to scavenge for nuts and stuff. And occasionally we put them in commercials and uh, animated stuff and we make them seem like crack fiends. Bye!